NBC News World Headquarters in New York. This is NBC Nightly News. Tonight, as we mentioned, it will be L.A.'s turn in the spotlight where the major TV networks are all here in this room joining forces to draw attention to cancer research, prevention, and treatment. More on that a little bit later on. First, we have an appropriate Making a Difference report tonight about a simple change in strategy that can improve and even prolong the lives of cancer patients. Our report tonight from our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. I get tired. When 45-year-old Jim Windhorst was diagnosed last year with an advanced, aggressive form of lung cancer, he and his wife, Terry, were blindsided. We were just sort of trying to figure out how do you move forward, how do we raise our kids. I've been experiencing some, some vertigo. So Jim joined a study at Massachusetts General Hospital. How short of breath. A team of palliative care specialists, doctors, nurses, and psychologists who are trained to provide end-of-life care instead focus on ways to extend life through early intervention. Traditionally, this team of clinicians would only see people very late in the course of their disease. And what was different about our study is that we asked them to see patients who were newly diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. Those patients begin standard cancer care but are immediately partnered with a palliative care specialist to find ways to ease the turmoil almost always triggered by a serious cancer diagnosis. When the three-year study ended in 2009, those patients had fewer hospitalizations and lived longer, an average of three months longer than patients getting standard cancer care alone. Not only did the patients live longer, they also reported lower levels of pain, nausea, depression, and better mobility than those who were not in the program. With help from his palliative care guide, Jim Windhorst turned to acupuncture, Qigong classes, physical therapy, and meditation. And the result was a heartier appetite and less of the stress caused by chemotherapy and radiation. It was forming strategies on how to get yourself out of that hole and start living again. These tools, he says, are making a difference, helping him be a better dad and husband while living with a deadly disease. And it's further evidence, doctors say, that focusing on the quality of life can actually extend life. Dr. Nancy Snyderman, NBC News, New York.